Okay, now again off camera, I've gone ahead and built this starter mechanism. It was just normal turning. Put a slot in it with the end mill. Make a T. It's all just normal stuff. We've all seen it a billion times. But now I'm up to the stage where I'm about to shit my pants. To be honest. And I've been putting this off and putting this off for a while now. What I've got to do is drill the flywheel and crankshaft in one go on both sides and put a roll pin in it. Now this actually times the cam exhaust valve. The ignition's timed off this cam lobe here um, on the ignition cam. But you've got to time the exhaust valve. Now it says in the instructions just to get the valve I get the crankshaft to about 15 degrees uh, before the bottom dead centre. Um, get the exhaust cam lobe so it's just starting to ever so slightly touch the valve. Then drill down and put a roll pin in each side. Now I think it said to use 332's roll pins but I've gone with one inch because I've got a one inch long series drill. Uh, so that's why I've gone with eighth. Now there's not a lot of room. I haven't got a centre drill to actually start the hole. So it's going to be a right pain and a crack to do this, to be honest. But it's got to be done. So I'm going to take the, dry, uh, the starting dog off and pick up on the centre of that crankshaft. And then come in and I'm probably just going to eyeball this one so it just clears the flywheel on both sides. Um, I've been putting this off for days and days and days but it's got to the stage where I've really got no choice but to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Just got to double check myself here. Okay, now on the internet there was a fellow that built this engine and he didn't like the idea how you just had to hold this with your hand and hold everything in place and drill it or somehow try and clamp it so he designed this clamping system and put the the plans on the internet available to anyone who's building the engine and i'm buggered if i can remember his name but i can't thank him enough for this so what it does is I've made up a pin that go that screws into the grease cap hole on the crankshaft that greases the big end. Um, and that slides into a hole here, which it's all done off measurements when you build the frame, which holds a crankshaft at uh, 15 degrees before bottom dead centre. And then what you can do is time the crank, uh, time the flywheel or the cam, the exhaust cam. Put this one in here and use a um, you know, use a clamp, engineer's clamp, and just yeah, clamp the flywheel, and it can't move. So it's pretty much a foolproof system. I made mine so it's quite firm on the flywheel already. So you actually got to do a fair bit of moving to a bit of force to make it move. Whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. That's why it's done. So I know, according to the fellas' plans and everything, I know the crankshaft is at 15 degrees before bottom dead centre. I'm just going to take a bit of time now and actually time the cam, the cam lobe. Okay, I'll come up with this idea. Instead of just eyeballing the valve, the exhaust valve down in there, if I put a dial indicator on it, on the rocker arm, I can just pick up when it's starting to raise the exhaust valve. Leave it at that, so I'm going to clamp it there. 
trying not to move anything. Um, but I know that's correct. Well, I've just caught a lucky break. I've not long bought a set of um, new set of P and N drills. The eighth inch long series drill I had was a bit dull, and I had a lot of trouble making it start. So I grabbed a new eighth one out of the packet, and bugging me dead, I've just dropped it down in the chuck a bit more, but I reckon I bloody near got enough to get through with a standard drill. So we're going to give it a go anyway. Took a bit to get it started on, like started straight. I put a bit of masking tape here so I don't mark the side of the flywheel. Touch the side of the flywheel. No, got lucky. <laughs> Radio. So I'm going to do the other one off camera because you can't see nothing by mine there anyway. Mangle camera angle. I put some um, set screws in the oil cup holes just so the oil cups weren't there in my way and just stops any crap going down in there so that's why you're seeing there's some set screws in there okay so what I've done now is I've put a roll pin partially way the way through so it does actually touch into the into the uh, crankshaft I'm going to do the same on the other side, then take the clamp and everything off, turn the engine over and then I'll be able to get in there with a the needle file, I hope, to be able to clean up where the drills pop through. Got a bit of luck. We've just got to pray everything's right. Um, really, this clamp system clamp system can come off now if I can find my own keys. That was a pin I was telling you about. It just goes into where the cup goes into. That uh, uh, grease cup. Just holds the crankshaft in place. A little bit of time it took to make. It was definitely worthwhile, I think. As you can see, the centre line of the crankshaft down here. So we're at about 15 degrees. Now I can, I can put that one in there. Clean up them two holes 
some needle files, which is going to take a long time because I don't want to put any marks on it. So I might bring you guys back when all this great ball of excitement is finished. Yep, it's going to take a while. Oh, they're in. Well, not in, but filed off. I'm not too sure whether I put a should have should I put a double Loctite on these pins or not. But I want to be able to get it apart just in case it shits itself, blows up, whatever. I want to be able to get it apart just in case. Like there is a little bit of variance in the timing you can play with on the two gears. Put this jigger back on. Oh man, I mean that was nervy shit drilling them two holes. I can tell you, I was I've been worrying myself dumb over that for days, thinking I've got to do it, I've got to do it. But just being nervous as buggery, thinking this is either make it or break it type thing, you know. I'm sort of glad it's done now. I've got to time the um, cam lobe, which is bugger all. But I think. about this when it starts but we'll get her out um, I'm gonna bugger eyes around off camera now and time the cam for the ignition and then I am going to fiddle around and try and get the ignition system sorted I've got all the bits and pieces um, got the coil got the condenser got a switch got a spark plug lead Got a cup of tea, because that is important, because it's pissy, crappy weather outside, door shut, and um, I have not had one phone call. How good's that? That's a big bonus. I've set the ignition cam. Putting all these little bits back on now. Must be fairly cold because the Loctite's as thick as anything at the moment. Pair of them little pliers, little soft jaw pliers for stuff like this because man oh man I hate doing this. Out, well, we'll put some green shit on there and that'll stop it going anywhere. Right, I've got the other oil cup on. I went ahead and put the one on the um, grease cup. Just got to get a bit of grease out and put in there. Get that bit of, bit of lube in there. I've got to make up a throttle linkage arm. Probably to come off here. I don't know. Come off here so that you know.
Okay, so this is going to end up being the the post for the throttle throttle handle. So I'm just making it up as I go. There's no plans for this, it's just just build it on the wing. Okay, let's tap them. a better fit okay so what I've done I've, I've finished off the throttle linkage it's a pretty basic simple setup you see me machine the post and all bar drilling the hole through this lever and that's simple it's pretty positive it works well um, yeah it's gonna be good um, I've ran a wire from the points and condenser and drilled a couple of mounting holes. So that there in a nutshell is the engine complete. <laughs> Finally, we've got excellent compression. Very good compression. I'm really really stoked with that okay so we've got the engine complete um, super super happy with how it's 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 ended up so far it looks fantastic in my eyes um, for a first engine build I'm blown away now I'm not going to subject you guys because it'd be a criminal offense to watch me do woodwork to build a base and Truthfully honest, I hate woodwork. Um, never enjoyed it. So I'm not going to I'm not going to put you through that. That'd be just instant anti-sub. 
in my eyes because you'd be just full of swearing <laughs> and that's it's fair dinkum i hate it i hate it with a passion so i built the base and i'll bolt it up and i'll show you what how what i've come up with and there's also another little surprise to come when i show you the base when this is mounted on the base stay tuned that's what I come up with for a base. Um, tell you now, there was a lot of swear and curse and <laughs> failures. And, but overall, I'm happy. Inside aluminium base, inside the, um, I think you can see that there, base. But inside there, I've got the coil and a little 9 volt battery. Um, powers the engine so this one I have had it running um, which I'll start that up very shortly actually we'll do it now we'll do it now why not it's Christmas We need a little bit of grease in the oil, in the grease pot. I hope this runs, eh? I hope it starts. <laughs> it's going to be very embarrassing if I don't. But I think it might. We'll give it a go. Um... The light on here, it just keeps blowing the bulb. I think it's because of the vibration. So it's only for decoration. Here we go. She's alive. Was. <laughs> Needs another feed on the base to stop it from bouncing around. There you go, there you go. It, it actually runs. It still needs a lot of tuning in that carby. Um, very, very fiddly to, to tune, I found. It's, yeah. It's tested me, um, but it, it's a runner. And I'm, I'm blown away, to be honest. Absolutely blown away that the first engine I've built, internal combustion engine, actually runs. So I mentioned there was a bit of a surprise. This one here is actually going to be given away. Um, so I built two. <laughs> I built two of them. Um, this one here was this one here I built first uh, off camera to make sure I had all my numbers right and it wasn't going to be a screw up. Now this one isn't as pretty an engine. The compression isn't as good. Like it's still got good compression, but it's not as good as this one. This one does run. Uh, runs no drums at all. So this is going to be mine This one's going to be given to a special person to me as a uh, Christmas gift So I can't mention the name because I'll probably watch this video <laughs> But anyway, this one's going to be given away and this one will be mine um, 
I just, I'm just blown away that I built two engines and they, they're both runners and I'm just stoked, absolutely stoked. It's big confidence booster. I've still got to make the uh, throttle. I've had to sort of get in and hook in the last few days and get them finished to get this video out before Christmas and get this one ready for Christmas. Um, if the person this is going to, if they wish to be on camera, I will actually film that, um, yeah, giving it to them on Christmas. If they don't want to be on camera, well, we'll just, I'll just have to explain how it went in the next video. And there will be one more video, just a very quick video after all this. I've got a, a little tub with all the failures in it. Um, not everything went to plan. So it might have looked good on camera, but there was a quite a lot of failures. Um, and it was a building this first one off camera, like I'd build a part, say the cylinder, work out what I'm doing, and then I'd build the second one on camera, and I, I knew roughly where I was, like the cam load, the gearing, the gears and that. I knew where I was, but, but I'm just over the moon, just beside myself, to be honest, that they're, they're both runners, and they run nice, so, this one here needs a little bit of tuning, this one here needs a, a fair bit of tuning yet, um, yeah, it's, the, I've looked at the plans over and over again, about the, the carby build for like for the Webster engine. I think one day I'll end up building the carby that the plans say that that's in the plans just for trial and error and see how it works. So anyway, there we go. Um, mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. Super excited. I haven't. I've got the coil and everything inside this box. I haven't got a battery pack for it, so I've just been running it off a um, off a power supply. So I've still got to finish the electrics on this one. Anyway, I'm going to try and get them both idling and give you a shot of that. I don't know how that's going to go. Anyway, we'll, we'll give it a go. We'll have a try, and um, hopefully we'll succeed. There we go, they're both runners. <laughs> this one still needs a fair bit of tuning up, a bit of fine, like fine tuning, but over the moon absolutely over the moon couldn't be happier <laughs> well, I never ever thought in my wildest dreams that I'd be building internal combustion engines well we might end the video there guys um, thank you everyone who has um, commented on these on this build series and Thanks for all the encouraging words. It, uh, it's been a big project, massive project. Um, yeah, I'd, I really appreciate everyone's input and um, encouragement. Uh, also, I want to wish us all a really Merry Christmas, however you celebrate it, and all the best for the new year. Hopefully next year will be a lot better than this one. Um, yeah, it can't be any worse. 
Anyway, um, please take care and stay safe over the Christmas period. I know in town here it's getting very, very busy already. Um, it's, yeah, it's going nuts up the street. So take care, enjoy your Christmas, and I'll hopefully have a video out in the very early new year. Um, next year on the channel, I hope to get the, or I'll show the radio alarm drill and hopefully get it up and running. Um, that's on the to-do list. Um, I've been wanting to get these done and finished and out of the way. Um, I am thinking of making an attachment for the engine. Uh, a little thing it'll run. That's in the plans. Uh, just collecting some material together and hopefully I'll get in to make something in the new year. Yeah. That's... I'll work that out in the new year. I'm having a couple of weeks off making videos. And uh, enjoy a bit of family time. So... Please stay safe everybody. All the best. Thank you everyone who's subscribed and you know been there with me throughout the year the channel's grown way bigger than what i ever dreamt of and i'm truly appreciative of every one of you who's taken the time to subscribe and comment so thank you and we'll see you all in 2022 enjoy guys and take care